Hi there everybody, it's UK independent stamping up demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Thank you very much for joining me today for another Celebration Saturday project. So on a Saturday between the 4th and the 28th of February, I'm going to be celebrating our Celebration catalogue with you. I love this catalogue, it is beautiful. And the best part about it is everything that you will find in this catalogue is completely free. How great is that? To be eligible for the products in this catalogue, you just need to spend increments of £45 on my store, slimandstylish.stampingup.net. If you spend £45, you can get one of these free £45 sets. You've got paper in there, you've got stamps in there. It's just amazing. It's really pretty this year. Or if you spend £90, you can get two free £45 sets. Or you can skip straight to the back and you can get these £90 purchases. So here you've got a massive great big stamp set with 21 stamps. But this is what I'm going to be focusing on today. This is the Hello Friendly set. So with this one on celebration, you get the 12 by 12 paper, which is absolutely gorgeous. These are all the patterns and you get the stamp set all free when you spend £90 on my store, slimandstylish.stampingup.net. So let me jump in and show you the card that I've made with this today. It's this one, really simple, but I think really quite effective. Let me show you how I put this card together. So first of all, you're going to need a piece of basic white cardstock and you're going to want it cut 10 centimetres by 14.3 centimetres. So I'm just going to grab my trimmer and trim my paper down. So it's 10 centimetres. by 14.3 centimetres. Okay, and this will allow me to put a black card base underneath it. So this here is 10.5 centimetres by 14.8 centimetres. So you can see it just fits underneath there with a nice fringe around it. Okay, you're also going to need a card base. So I have one here and I'm just going to score it in half. So the way I make my card base, oh, I've started cutting it in half. I, this is why I always score it before I start filming because I get distracted when I start talking. I go all over the place. So my card bases are the basic white A4 sheet which I cut in half and then score in half to create a card base. And I have this one here that is an actual <laughs> not cut in half base. What a mistake. <laughs> so I'm just going to fold that and burnish it. And then you'll see that they fit on there. That will fit on that top exactly so you don't see any of the card underneath. And then you've got the front. We're just going to be using the front at the moment. So what you want is you want a tub of clear embossing powder. I love clear embossing powder because I think it's just so magical. It really is beautiful. So you just want to grab your embossing buddy and you want to run that over the bottom half of your card. Okay, your Versamark ink pad. And you want to grab whichever stamp you're going to be using. I'm using this one here with the flowers on, but you could use any of them. They'd all work for this technique. Ink it up in your Versamark and then stamp it down. Once you've done that, and I've done two, and they're a little bit further away from each other, so they're not touching, one's just above the other one. Okay, you then want to use your clear embossing powder, and you want to pop it all over where you've put those flowers.
lightly tap off any excess but hopefully you can see it's just hit where the flowers are now this always looks to me like the most pointless embossing because once you've done it it's obviously going to dry clear but trust me it gets magical <laughs> so i'm just going to use my heat gun to heat that up Once you've done that, I'm just going to grab a piece of scrap grid paper because I don't want to mess my filming grid paper up. You want to pick a colour, any colour. So previously I used Flirty Flamingo. I'm going to use Flirty Flamingo again because I just love it. And you're going to want to start off towards the centre of the flowers. So you'll notice that here, for me, is darker than the outside. So I've used that as my centerpiece. So I'm just gonna rub that in the ink, start in the center and start going out in circles. You're gonna keep building this color up. So at the moment, it doesn't look very much, but you just keep going because honestly, it gets magical. Can you see it starting to come through? Now it's up to you how dark and how light you wanna go. I went really dark in the centre because I just really wanted to show these flowers up because they are really beautiful, well worth showing up. Okay, I'm just going to go a little bit further out on this one. Once you've got it sorted to the colour that you want around the flowers, you can then take the colour out lightly. So start again in the middle and just work your way towards the edge. You just sort of want to get a pink tint, nothing much major it's not going as bright as what you've got in the center it's just getting the color on the edges of the card like that okay the way to get the smoothest finish is to apply the ink in circles and then to pop the ink onto the card in circles it just gets it really smooth and looking really polished okay once you've done that, you want your Stamparatus and your sentiment. The Stamparatus is best for this because you're going to need to stamp this sentiment on quite a few times to get it to stick because it's going over the embossed and it's going over the um, sponged area. OK, now normally I'd put this on my Stamparatus and then line the sentiment up, but I've already got the sentiment on from earlier. So I'm going a bit backwards and I'm putting the paper onto the Stamparatus and not moving the stamp because I'm being a bit lazy. I know, terrible. Oh, try not to get your uh, magnets stuck together, by the way. That's not a very good policy when you do that. There we go, I quite like that. You see, it's going through the center of my flowers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the box underneath Stamparatus and I'm using stays on for this because I just want this black to be really 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 black um, so when you use your stays on pop it on and just give yourself a little twist of the wrist okay and what you'll notice as you begin to ink this up well actually what you'll notice first is when you use your stays on onto basic white using your Stamparatus. The basic white generally tends to try and stick to the stamp. Okay, so if you have your bone folder handy, 
pop your bone folder underneath and you can just pull the paper off your stamp like that. Okay, the magnets are good, but it does stick quite a lot. The next thing you'll notice is you get this wonderful sort of textured look to your stamp. That's fine because that's where it's going over the flower and you'll notice my final one has these textures in. To get it darker, you just apply the ink, rub it over and go again. If your paper does stick to your stamp and when you lift it up, you don't do it properly and you pull it up because it is a um, a photopolymer stamp set you'll be able to see quite clearly where to put it back okay so for instance I'm not sure if that moved or not so I can look over the top of my stamp and I can actually see it did it moves slightly just that way so I can put it back I can look over the top and I can see that that's going to line up again. It's not really. Let me. There you go. That will line up perfectly. Then you can ink it and go again if you want. And I do want. I want to try and get this as dark as possible. Hello, friend. Okay, so to finish this card up, I am just going to apply some adhesive on the back. I'm not pushing down here because stays on stays quite inky for quite a bit. So you generally do need to let that dry. But because I'm on a video, I'm just rocking your head and hoping you don't notice it that much. Mm. <laughs> Okay, and I'm popping that down on there. And where's my, I just, I have just used my um, adhesive and I put it down somewhere. I have to grab another one. It's really weird, I just used that Tombow. It's a good job I have a few of them on the go at the moment, but I'm not sure where I put it. Gotta be somewhere. Right, and then I'm just going to apply that onto the card. And to finish up, I'm going to grab some of these really cute. These are the classic matte dots. And I'm just going to grab a couple of them in the black and just dot them around my card. One, two. There we go. There is my card using the Friendly Hello Celebration stamp set. There you are. And don't forget this stamp set is free over on my store slimandstylish.stampingup.net. When you spend £90 you get this and the coordinating paper. Thanks for joining me today for Celebration Saturday. Everything I've used today is available from my store and I will see you later in the week. Bye everyone. I hope you've enjoyed today's project. All items that I have used on this video are available to purchase from my store www.slimandstylish.stampingup.net Alternatively, if you would like a copy of our catalogues, please send me an email to slimandstylish at live.co.uk or leave me a comment below and I'll get in touch with you. I upload regular content to this channel, so if you do enjoy watching my tutorials, please make sure that you have subscribed and rang the bell to get notifications when new videos go live. Thank you for joining me and have a lovely day.